For this first work, start the cut at the nape, separating the frontal areas. Cut with the clippers using protector number 4, from the rear hairline towards the crown, without forgetting the area behind the ear. Leave the area closest to the crown longer. Cut in increasing lengths to blend this area with the upper layers. With the clippers you get perfect tapering and you work faster than with the scissor and comb technique. To polish the hairlines at the nape and behind the ears, remove the protector and set the areas that will be left shorter directly with the clippers or perhaps using the comb as well. Once the nape tapering is finished, go on to the rest of the head. Start the cut at the sideburn, outlining the contour with the scissors and leveling off the cutting line between the already cut layer and the one to be cut next. Paper the sideburn in increasing lengths, working towards the top and using the scissors and comb. Blend the area behind the ear with the nape area. Paper all of the hairlines, at the sideburns, around the ear, and at the temples. Now blend with the top. On the left side, cut indentate shapes from back to front to get the most irregularity possible. With scissors and comb, continue raising the cut towards the crown, where you cut by taking meshes between your fingers and cutting in layers, always in the same direction as the hair is combed.
continue cutting in increasing lengths from the crown to the front. In front, profile the fringe, checking the cowlick. Continue cutting the upper layers in increasing lengths towards the front to get a longer area on one side of the fringe. Layer and go over this area to get the correct length at the fringe. Finally, use the razor blade to remove more weight, taking meshes and cutting them on both sides for more irregularity. Once the cut is finished, go on to make two half moon shapes in the longest area of this style. Start the decoloring by first wrapping the meshes to be treated in aluminum foil and spreading them out in such a way that, in between, the natural color shows through. Use cotton for protection against stains over the rest of the hair. Once this process is finished, go on to apply a soft copper tone over the rest of the hair using a paintbrush, and then spread it with a comb. Dry with your fingers and shape the longest area with a brush. Here you can see this finished super short style in which the shine from color application is highlighted. Then we'll show you another variation.